end stage renal failure doesn't just affect the kidney it puts fluid in the lungs heart and other parts of the body most patients keep their fluid in their legs it's a swelling caused by fluid it's called edema fluid can get trapped in any part of the body other causes of edema include diabetes some medications and other kidney associated illnesses i don't get edema in my legs i was thankful that my legs retained its shape into my 60s my dialysis tech and nurses wondered where the fluid was hiding on my fifth year on dialysis the nurses found fluid in my lungs they called it crackle and it affected my breathing you see when I lay down to sleep the fluid from other parts of my body rush into my lungs the good thing was I had a CPAP machine which forced pressurized air into my lungs. So I learned to live with a crackle. I didn't take it too seriously. No one ever told me the fluid would go into my heart. My ninth year on dialysis, I suffered more debilitating breathing difficulty. This time, when I walk, I had to stop every three to five steps to catch my breath as if I've been running. <gasps> it was so bad that I went to a hospital emergency. I was told I have this dyspnea is shortness of breath, a sign of serious disease of the airways, lungs, or heart. In my case, it was a result of fluid in my heart, it's stretching it, making it, making pumping blood difficult. Yeah, is a symptom, and it always leads to congestive heart failure. Now, congestive heart failure is the leading cause of death in patients over the age of 65 years. Research indicates that sustained fluid overload may increase the risk of early death in kidney patients on hemodialysis. True enough, a few months later, I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Now, I googled congestive heart failure and I got very dreadful information. It says life expectancy is between five to 10 years. I started to imagine myself dying. This is nothing like crackle. It's a silent warning that says I could die any day. I told my dialysis team about the new diagnosis. The first thing my nephrologist did was to add a day of treatment. Instead of three times a week, I got an extra day, so I now go four times a week. Now, there is no CPAP for the heart. This time, I decided to sleep with my chest elevated by pillows to hope fully drip the fluid down of my heart. Then I searched and found a cardiologist to help me live longer with this new heart condition. Initially, pending uh, results of further tests on my heart, I was given Lysinopril 2.5 milligram. This is the one. 
Lisinopril is an ACE inhibitor. It's used to treat blood pressure and heart failure by relaxing the blood vessels. My breathing got better. My energy level went up a notch. Enough to do my usual chores, like cooking, uh, my appetite improved, and along with that, my sick, I, I lost the sick look. The conflicting projections of longevity for patients with congestive heart failure is depressing. However, let's keep in mind, only God knows when and where we're going to kick the bucket. So if I take care of myself, hopefully I will reach at least 80. Well, I'm already 66 now. It's not so far. And I am doing this. All the videos about my illness. Documenting it for other patients. So that other people in similar situation will realize it's not so bad. Everybody's got something. Especially past 50. I have brothers who died at 55. You know, I mean, blood brothers. So, it's not so bad. The important thing is to enjoy life.